thank you game for actually waking up there hello everybody welcome back for more let's play octopath traveler joining me is star princess hlc no no and jk lantern yes So last time, we were at, like, level 40-something. Yeah. I went grinding, and a thing happened. A magical thing. So, I did not manage to hit Old Barrack, sadly for me. But you you see the levels? Yeah, that that that's a thing that happened. Bewildering Grace popped for a times 100 XP bonus on a fight with two of the Kates. Yeah, yeah, if you if you get really lucky with Bewildering Grace and Kates, wonderful things happen. Yeah, 130,000 experience from one fight. Kind of like, well, now I just need to get everybody up to everybody else that wasn't here up to about the level 50 range and we will be set yep anyway god why is the music for the frost land so good in general so let's go ahead and get the people we need to start out with Because I believe it may take us a bit to actually get into combat here. Yeah. So I'm not going to worry too much about that until after. So, in hopes of undoing the Master's Petrification, we head to Still Snow to meet the Seer Susanna. No beep. Yes, friends. Yeah. Well, they might have actually been friends. We're just not sure. Mm hmm Forgive us this old man for smelling faintly of urine. And gambling. And All gambling. All the gambling. All the gambling. <laughs> Is he actually Stan Pines? He could be. Uh. Oh. Why are you were here before? Why are you acting surprised? Uh. Hmm. Is Lind looking for a place to sleep? Snow Leopard? Snow! Yeah. Woohoo! And the kids here have absolutely no fear of snow leopards. Uh... They, they'll live a long time. <laughs> yes, yes, they will. Cheerily. Unless I bid her to eat your face. Yeah. Really? Well, pet, you say. <laughs> she's not my pet, she's my accountant. <laughs> yep. My name is Bean Honnet, and this being my legal advisor, Lind. Yay! 
It's brushed wow. daily. So. Mm. Oh, yes. Uh, I, I saw the old lady. Her asking about the old lady, and I could only hear it in Cheech Marin's voice. I hmm. don't know why. And neither do I, because I don't recall Cheech Marin and the old lady bits that being that prevalent. Huh. Now then. The Red Roof Inn got it. I was thinking it. Was that here last time? I don't know. I think it was here, we just couldn't do anything with it. Okay. I see. Bye! I'm pretty sure that was the house with just the crystal Bye -bye. ball sitting in it that was never actually occupied. My crystal ball now. Oh. Did did the cat <laughs> just have an anime sweat drop? Yes, yes it did. J just checking. It it was caught. Anyway. Oh god, the younglings are weird. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Lind is just a huge house cat. That's all this yep. is. Yep. <laughs> Aww. OTP. OTP. An angry mob. We happen to have a face eating cat here. Listen up. Buddy, if you don't have ID, I can't let you in. He's just looking for Sam Garbage Can. That's all it is. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, that name is Sam Barbecue. <laughs> oh, God. Being a bouncer at a frat house is a trip. Wow, dude. Going Yikes. there, huh? Boy. Honestly? No. Hmm. 
Yeah. Wasn't this the plot of one of the wayside school books? Never read them. That, that probably they they were probably a little bit after your time. Oh ho! Then again, I remember looking up one of them, and it was published much earlier than I expected it to be. So, eh? Doubtless. Keeps the riprap out. Well, crap, we're not getting in then. Maybe you'll feel you can. <clears throat> Aye. Could that mean? Have you seen who Olberic challenges lately? <laughs> anyone and everyone. I'll fight anyone! I'll fight everyone! I'll fight you! I mean, there are some who just kind of realize, yeah, nobody's going to believe me anyway, so I'm just going to get to sit back and get the popcorn. I'm you from the future. Money's no longer a thing. Invest in potatoes. Ah, yes. You know, if someone from the 80s went back and told themselves from the 50 to invest in Apple. <laughs> oh, God. So, one of the classes I had to take in the course of getting my nutrition degree was Introduction to Business Management, Christ. which was a surprisingly fun class. Um, the guy teaching us was an all-state manager. One of the things he said was like, God damn, I, would, I had the opportunity to invest in Apple like 15 years ago and I didn't. Hindsight, man. Hindsight. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Especially Therian. I mean, what else did you think you were going to do in Hanit's chapter? Yeah, uh, that it does make sense that Lind was going to have to eat somebody's face. <laughs> yeah, the the one thing I'll say is they they don't do a heck of a lot to change up the formulas of each chapter. Like, for Ophelia's and Primrose's, it's bring someone to, from point A to point B. For Tress's, it's buy the thing. For, uh, Al for Alfin and, uh, Cyrus, it's talk to the people, you know? It's a, it's a shame that, like, the later chapters don't shake things up by requiring you to have multiple Greetings. people. But then again, it does allow you to do solo runs, which people do. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we tried talking. That's all we can do. Hmm, that, that he's pretty strong. Let us begin. It. What next? No, at least he's weak to that. Yep. Letting the hunt begin. Unfortunately, I can do nothing but throw monsters at him. Yeah. It, it would be nice to be able to like um. Letting my arrow fly. <laughs> like this, this is one of the play, the rare instances where I prefer Olberic to Hanit in game. Coming. 
it's that old old Barrick. Because Old Barrick can unleash the thunder. Yeah, yeah, Old Barracks. But because of the way the monsters work, Old Barracks a little more stable in fights, generally. Coming, it's not dead. Letting my arrow fly in uh, He look tried. At those, look at those sad damage values. I mean, there is a chance I'm still gonna have to pull out something and heal, but you know. Or or pull out one of the big monsters to do a ton of damage to him. Problem is, I don't have that many big monsters. That's something I haven't bothered with. Yeah, that, that's also the obnoxious thing about Hanit. Like general. Generally, I prefer using Hanit to Old Barrack in my party, because she has more, like, I'm going to hit everything for critical, really fast abilities. But, but like, Old, Old Barrack's stuff is a little bit more stable. Now, granted, you can absolutely make Hanit into a game breaker if you're patient and know what you're doing and know which monsters to grab. It's, it's just, I would prefer not to have to resort to a guide to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What? And, and if Lin scaled in power with Hanet, then that would be a completely what different next? thing. That would be like the one thing that would make me go, okay, never mind. Hanet is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if, as Hanet grew in power, Lin did too, but. What next? Let it be back nothing. Maybe at least I can nope. still boost. Thou yep. didn't fight his courage. We have successfully beaten up a mute. Yeah. This is fine. <sighs> <laughs> He's a man grown, but still a boy with him. Be a dear, Hanet, and have Linda carry the poor fool within. How do you know our nay? Never mind, you're a seer. He'll be catching his death of cold lying out in the snow like a log. <laughs> How dost thou knowest my name? That's what you want to ask, isn't it? I'm a seer, remember? Possessed of the all-seeing eye. Or so they say. Then thou art an oracle. Truly, thou will be able I to I love help. how she's perfectly fine with the fact that you beat up her bodyguard. She saw it happen. <laughs> Poppycock and nonsense is all it is. <clears throat> Poppycock? I know it's not this word. A hunter from the woodlands who communes with the beasts. Not a common sight in these parts. You were kind of here beating up pimps earlier, so I, you're, yeah. you're kind of familiar. Yeah. The only one who might fit that description is that hobbledy hoy, Zanta. The who to the what now? <laughs> Hobbledy boy. <laughs> Strangely, this is not the first time I've heard that phrase, but it, the only time I've heard Hobbledy Him boy for is a game that uh, the dark my world. dad plays with my niece, or played rather, a long time ago. Your age, your snow leopard, your garb. Simple deduction, my dear. My god, we the found a detective. Is to say what you know, and nothing more, and let the gullible fill in the details. Yep. That's all Susanna's and now I've got a game involving three cards in to show you. <laughs> uh, have I told you about that English teacher? I don't know. Well, but you may want to save the story. To learn I'm okay. Just a fraud? On the contrary, now I know I can trust thee. 
Really? If thou speakest the truth about this, then surely thou wouldst not speak false of aught else. N uh, your logic is flawed on it. A little your bit. Your logic is horribly flawed. Just a bit. <laughs> Fair before you, but that Zonta lad raised a clever apprentice, and that's the truth. Why don't you tell me why you're here? <coughs> oh, right, you. But first, let's go inside, shall we? This is much funnier than it has so any right yes. to be. I, it would be f even funnier if she was actually just sitting on his unconscious body there. F for all I know, she could be. Yeah. That young master of yours has managed to get himself into a right mess, hasn't he? I'm sorry, young. Mistress Susanna, canst thou help in him? I don't think Zanta was that old. He's old enough to be our father, and we're... Hanit is like the third oldest person in the party. She's like 28 or something. I think. I'd have to look it up. There is one way. In truth. Have you tried turning truth. him off and turning him back oh, on? Now that's a word. You said you trusted me, remember? If there is the slightest chance of lifting that curse, I will trust whomever I need to. Therian, you're up. <laughs> Bad touch! Bad touch! No! Gods take my eyes if that fool hasn't raised a strong and brave young woman. I'd scarce believe it if you weren't standing here in front of me. I learned from his example. The good and the bad. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Is that so? imagine that would work but the world is full of wonders at that isn't that so my dear <laughs> it is but about the curse I am prepared for any trial there is but one way to turn stone back to living flesh And that is to slay the beast that wrought the curse. Oh, good. Not like we weren't headed in that direction anyway, but you know. Yeah. I had feared as much, but it shall be done. As long as nobody's left Zanta in a river. Or in a rainstorm. Stay, yeah. I'm not finished yet. Looking at Dragon Quest Seven. And Grandia. Did Zanta forget to teach you patience? Mine apologies. This is the first chapter that's used anime sweat drops, isn't it? The beast as you are, you'll only I need think the they were using him in some of the master. others. Huh. And what good will you be to him then? But I must... What you must do first is find the means to protect yourself from Red Eye's lethal power. We're gonna need a mirror, got it. Something like that. that. <laughs> I've seen Clash of the, the Titans, Freaks. I know how this works. I mean, I've played enough Dungeons and Dragons to know you need a mirror shield if you want to face a Medusa. Yep. Never. Alfin, have you heard of the Herb of Grace? Long I'm Southern. There was a beast in these parts too. What turned men to stone? Folks here soon learned that herb of grace could ward off the magic. I reckon it should be effective against Red Eye as well. Herb 
of grace grows in a forest so thick there are few ways in. I'll send a layak ahead to show you the entrance to the trail. But know that the forest is a perilous place and home to many frightful beasts. You want to prepare well before you venture in. We we had a lucky dance. I think I'm fine. Yeah. <clears throat> I shall. Thank thee, milady. <laughs> it is my pleasure, dear. In a strange way, that Zanta boy was like a son to me. A vexing wayward one, but a son all the same. Man, Hornets... Because I never actually got to Hanitz Chapter 3. We're we're going to be going into some uncharted territory for me. Um, Hanitz's story very much is about parent and child relationships, and it's fascinating. With you being his apprentice, it rather makes you my grandchild now. So what was with that grope earlier? I'm not. And what kind of a grandma would I be if I were to make the joke? I wasn't gonna make the joke. She is old enough. Because uh, that, if Hanat is in the late twenties, then that means that Zanta, being old enough to be your father, would be mid to late forties at the youngest. Yeah. Which means this woman is mid to late sixties. Master and I are both in thy debt. And that's the extreme youngest version, really. Yep. It's like, I know we have more travel banter, but we also have an extremely long episode. So, when we come back, we will have a talk, we will have a party to party chat, and then we will continue on into the Wildwood. So, until then. Take care, everyone. Later. Goodbye. Well,